Hey folks, Cooley Dean here, and welcome to Let's Fail at Infinite Crisis. Infinite Crisis is a new MOBA game that's come out that the, the big twist is that all the characters are characters from the DC Universe, or I should say DC Multiverse, uh, because what's kind of interesting about it is there's a duplication of some of the champions, but they're from different or alternate uh, universes in the DC Multiverse. So you've got basic Wonder Woman, you've got atomic Wonder Woman, and there's, there's a Mecha Wonder Woman somewhere in here. There it is, right here, Mecha Wonder Woman as well. Um, there's Batman, then there's Gaslight Batman, so there's a whole sort of steampunky kind of a sub-universe where uh, the, the Gaslight universe, I suppose, Nightmare Batman, and so on and so forth. So it's kind of interesting that, like, the same character can exist multiple times, but they are substantially different from one another. It's effectively like different champions in your standard MOBA, like League of Legends or Dota or something like that where Batman and Gaslight Batman are substantially different from one another with a, a completely different set of abilities. Um, but, you know, they get to reuse the same IP over and over, I suppose. So uh, it is currently in uh, open beta. Anyone can go and try it. There's not a huge number of champions available at this time. Um, and it follows the sort of standard model that's being established. You can unlock the Gaslight Batman for free by completing the tutorial. Uh, and then there's a series of champions that seem to be unlocked kind of semi-randomly. I don't know if it's every week or whatnot, but these little stars, these are free champions right now. And I've gone ahead and unlocked a Doomsday as well. Um, if we go take a look at the shop, you can see there's two types of currencies. There's the, I believe these are called Crisis Coins. I'm not going to get a tooltip for it, Crisis Coins. And the other ones are called Merit. Merit you earn by winning or playing games. And Crisis Coins you get by spending money. At this point, I've only played, I think, maybe six games. And um, that, I think after two games, I actually earned 400 or ish merit points. Maybe it took me three games. I'm not sure. And that is enough to purchase the cheapest of the characters. Uh, these cheapest. So these three: Doomsday, Gaslight, Batman, and Poison Ivy cost 400 merit each. Uh, and then it scales up quite rapidly in a model that's going to be pretty familiar to anyone who's been playing in the MOBA scene anytime recently. Um, and then of course there are the Crisis Coins that you can spend money on. Uh, ballpark. I would say that a hundred crisis coins is roughly a dollar. Certainly it depends on, um, exactly what package you pick up, how many coins you end up going. If you go with the, um, yeah, well, no, it's pretty consistent, but a you get about a hundred crisis coins for a dollar, a little bit less if you buy the cheaper package. Now that's, I mean, that, that gets to be quite pricey. They do have some starter packs, but even then I feel like they're a little bit expensive. For $50, well this is Canadian, uh, you can get a handful of characters here, plus a bunch of extra crisis coins. I guess that's true. But in my mind, and I, I don't like that MOBAs are still doing this thing. A few of them are doing what I consider to be the right way, where for something like this in the $30, $40, $50 dollar range, maybe even $60 if you really want to push it, it should sort of be a lifetime unlock of everything forever. I mean, you're paying a AAA title price for that. It should really have all the characters unlocked at that point for a nice flat fee. And uh, personally, I like that mix. I like the ability to just pick and choose what you buy, and then if you want to spend some money, do that. I mean, I suppose if you're going to be spending money like this, you're also going to be earning a lot of merit, so you're going to be able to unlock some things that way, but uh, I don't know. Uh, there are different uh, costumes you can choose as well for the different characters, so yeah, this will just change the look of your character while keeping the same base. So this would still be Superman, this would just be the Clark Kent look of the Superman, as opposed to Mecha Superman or, or whatever the other variants might be. So let's go ahead and queue up to a game. Uh, was there anything else I wanted to show? Um, so the champions, the stats, so how many games have I played? I've played four whole games. Oh, wow, okay, so I guess you earn merit a little bit faster than I thought, actually. It looks like you can probably expect to earn roughly 100 merit per game on average. Look at that, I've won a whole two of them. So this is very early on. That's one of the reasons I'm calling it a let's fail at. Also, I'm bad at games like this. So this is going to be funny. Um, there are these amplifiers that you can unlock, you uh, and augments as well. Now, from some of the victories, I was unlocking some of these augments um, for free, but it looks like you can also spend merit to rush them. So I, I don't know if you get one of these every time you win, or exactly what that mechanic is, but uh, this will be very familiar to people who've played, say, League of Legends. They will feel very much like a combination of ruins and masteries uh, in kind of an odd way there. And you can set up these different power sets. So um, you've got three slots or free. You can purchase some extra slots if you want. So I was going to try to build a uh, power damage and cooldown reduction. Power damage is basically your your ability power, your, your spells that do more damage effectively, as opposed to just playing like hitting things harder uh, with your melee attacks. I thought I had unlocked a second one. 
Mm. Apparently not. Apparently that's the only one that I've got unlocked there. So, anyway, we've got that going on. There are achievements that you can unlock. Not a ton right now, but it looks like maybe they you can get multiple levels in them. And the Protector account, I'm a whopping level 3. So, definitely, definitely a newbie. Uh, I've quite enjoyed... I played two games early on as uh, Atomic Poison Ivy and two games as Doomsday. And they're both quite different. Atomic Poison Ivy is actually a tank, an enforcer, is what they call it here. It's nice that they give you these roles, so she is a power damage champion, so she scales up with uh, with power damage, but she is melee, and she's an enforcer. She's definitely designed to be a tank. Uh, she's got her toxic growth, which puts a shield around her after she doesn't take any damage for a little bit longer. Again, if you played League, this might be reminiscent somewhat of, like, Malphite. I mean, with games like this, there's always going to be this crossover. Like, like, oh, this ability reminds me of this thing from Dota. This th ability reminds me of this thing from League, so on and so forth. It's totally valid. I mean, they're going to be pretty samey to a certain extent. But as you see, once we get into the game, there's a lot of unique things in this one, which I think is pretty good, and it's certainly a lot of fun. Uh, so, yeah, she's got sort of a point blank. AoE around her. Uh, it's interesting that all her abilities can also consume the toxic growth if it's still available to do uh, additional damage or have uh, extra slows or not. This is not an extra slow. This is actually, while it slows your opponent, it will... Um it will make you go faster if you consume a toxic growth. Uh, the Wall of Thorns is actually a lot of fun. Just drop a wall in an area, and it does damage and also slows, and I found it's really effective so far. And her ultimate is really cool, because for 10 seconds, there's an area around her, and yeah, that you gain power armor, which is sort of like a magic resistance type of thing, but also everyone else inside of there counts as being stealthed. You don't. You're always visible, but you can have allies near there, and you're sort of protecting them through stealth, so you're really good to get into the middle of things, maybe, you know, AoE a little bit, slow things down and set up kills for other people, and generally just be tough, and not a bad ability in a team fight. We can compare and contrast with the sort of vanilla, Universe 1 Poison Ivy, who is a controller, sort of a supporty kind of role instead. She's also ranged. Uh, still a power damage champion, though, but a ranged one instead. And so uh, after five skills are used, she will leave an area of healing behind. Um, the Root Strike, is that the one I'm thinking of? Yeah, sort of a skill shot. You shoot forward, and then you can detonate, and it, it will do damage, but also knock up everyone in that area, so effectively a mini stun there. Uh, so yeah, again, sort of more of a support type role, even though it's the same base character, so there's a lot of a lot of difference, despite the fact that they're both kind of sort of Poison Ivies. Uh, but Doomsday is a lot of fun. So he is an attack damage champion, he's all about physical damage, and he is melee, and he's a bruiser, so he's not an assassin type. Assassins tend to be like glass cannons, I suppose. Easy to kill, but they do a lot of damage. The bruisers are are tough, not as tough as enforcers, but uh, relatively tough, but they can also dish out a lot of damage. So what's great about this one is everything he's got is just about like smashing and smashing harder. So you've got a charge you can use to close in quickly, and also if you can hit them into a wall, it will knock them down, which is pretty great. This berserk is actually free to use, and it just gives you a four second boost where you attack and move faster and do more damage uh, in an AoE. It's in interesting enough it's power damage per second AoE around you so it's uh, scales based on power damage which you may or may not build on doomsday um, so I don't know how much you'll end up with that and yeah, Pummeling Assault is kind of cool because it does a very tiny jump forward and smashes the, the quote-unquote targeted area. Um, it can be a little tricky to use, right? I keep like semi-missing it, but it's probably because I'm, I'm incompetent. And again, you can trigger it up to three times in a row, but you've got a five-second cooldown after each use, and once you sort of fail to use it within that, that five-second window, then it goes on normal cooldown. So in practice, you can go smash, smash, smash wait 11 seconds, and then repeat. And the third attack does do a mini stun as well, which is incredibly handy. And if you've got your Kryptonian Rage active, which is this ability over here, the that third attack will knock down uh, for three quarters of a second as opposed to just mini stunning for 0.2 seconds. And again, each one of these abilities gets an extra boost if you've got your Kryptonian Rage active. And this one works in kind of an interesting way. It's got a I guess all of his abilities are free. Yeah, everything is no cost on Doomsday. Um, and instead, every time you use an ability or you do a basic attack, you gain Fury. And then once you get to 100 Fury, you can activate Kryptonian Rage, which basically has no cooldown other than having to rebuild your Fury Bar. And then it increases your damage output, reflects damage, gives you some resilience, which I assume is just damage reduction. Um, and, of course, empowers the rest of your abilities, which is, uh, is kind of cool. And, uh, oh yeah, there's these stolen power abilities, uh, which are basically, they're going to be reminiscent to something like a summoner spell, for example. Um, and so when you, everyone's got some. 
that you can use on your character. And I think that what this does, it says earn a champion level five. Well, Doomsday has this ability. When you just, if you unlock Doomsday, you will just have this thing. And it's pretty handy. And it looks like if you get the champion level five, I'm thinking you can use this ability on other people. It'll be really interesting to see if that's the case. And it's kind of cool, I think. I don't know. And uh, the default ampli amplifier set over here. Um, so these amplifiers are, if we go back over to the profile, can I close this? There we go. Are these amplifiers here? So there's a default set for every character, but then you can also fine tune and create your own. But early on, you won't really have these. But again, the characters will have their default ones. Anyway, I think with all that, we're going to go ahead and play a game. And uh, there are three maps right now, or three so-called sectors. There's also a tutorial. Right now, it looks like there's only one tutorial, which I have completed, and there was nothing else available in there. So there might be more tutorials in the future. It's, it's fine. It's relatively well done. It actually reminds me of playing... Um, Oh gosh, I just had a uh, Freedom Force. Freedom Force, a great game from like several years ago about being superheroes. And anyway, playing through the uh, the mission tutorial um, really made me think of playing that game. And I, I kind of miss it. I kind of want to play it again. Anyway, yeah. So it's got these uh, these three maps. Now um, the Co Coast City Marina can only allow uh, custom games. Uh, and Gotham Divided does allow everything as is Gotham Heights. Gotham Heights is not the one, the only one that's not considered to be beta. We're going to go ahead and queue into this one uh, just because it'll probably have the shorter queue time. I will queue on my own. But you can create a custom map. Right now, there does not appear to be any kind of bots uh, available. So, yeah, I can't launch the game right now. And as far as I know, I can't do that. So you, you can't really practice on your own. But again, the game is in sort of a, um early beta testing uh, how do I leave again I don't remember unassigned team and then remove myself there we go okay uh, so yeah let me just go and solo queue to Gotham Heights depending on the time of day right now it's saying an average time of, of two minutes we'll see how it goes the very first time I queued up I actually got in in under 10 seconds but then after that it's been on average about a minute minute and a half or so uh, but again the game is uh, game is still just an open beta right now so there's not a huge user base whether it will get really popular or not we'll see uh, oh, yeah, and there's some extra training videos that you can watch here so this map we're gonna be playing is gonna be very much sort of a, one of these domination style maps everything is sort of set out in a circle there's five control points that you can control just by by standing near um, and uh, each team has a, I think you start off like 500 tickets and if an enemy if one team controls a control point then the other team slowly starts to lose some of their tickets until the game is over um, in terms of specific rules about you know ticket loss from from champion death and so on and so forth I'm really not on the up and up there so usually in those games the control points is generally your top priority you want to you want to try to hang on to them as much as possible um, and, and prioritize getting that as opposed to necessarily killing champions. Although certainly killing champions is always good. You get some bonus gold, bonus XP, um, and, you know, you slow them down because that's going to be, you know, 10 to, I don't know, 40 seconds of downtime while they wait to respawn, depending on their level and the time of the game. There is, um, inside the game, there's a, a shop where you can buy items. Um, just, you know, standard kind of MOBA style there. Uh, there's also a pretty handy tool in there to sort of like, there's a, there's a recommended item that uh, it always queues up and tells you, hey, you should buy this thing next, as well as a shortcut button to just do that right away. So I'll probably be doing a lot of that in this game, just because I don't know the items yet or the build. So more or less be going around with the, the default build, uh, just because then I can focus on the gameplay and the commentating. Now, one of the things I will say as a caveat, there's a really, I mean, I'm bad at these games to start off with, but trying to play the game and commentating at the same time is incredibly, incredibly hard. So there's a good chance that A, there'll be periods of silence, and B, just exceptional suckiness on my part. So I apologize for that. Don't watch these videos if you're looking for high level of skills. We're just trying to take a quick gander at this game. And I'll probably be playing some more because I'm, I'm kind of interesting to see, uh, interested to see exactly how it will go. It would be fun to unlock more of the uh, the the champions as well and uh, get a sense of all of them and how how different they all are. Uh, one of the things that's really cool, and I'll probably have the game volume relatively low, unfortunately. Maybe I can keep the music low. Let's bring up the master, but drop the music down. Um, oh, there we go, the voiceover. So we'll bring the sound effects down so that they're not too overwhelming. But when the uh, the champions and the announcers say something, it'll be relatively loud. Um, well, we'll bring down the announcer as well. But the uh, the commentary that the champions do is, I, I find, very cool. Uh, they will specifically say things to each other uh, contextually based on which champion is talking to which champion. 
and also events that happen. Uh, you know, like when I was playing as Doomsday, I got, you know, a lot of people were criticizing me, like, oh, you're just doing this for vengeance, and you got to chill out, dude, and all those things. Uh, well, you know, much better than that, but it was pretty good. All right, come on, find me a match. That's the most of the problem with those games that are still in relatively early beta. Not enough other players. I'm also playing, I just realized, the middle of the day. It's uh, on a weekday, so there might be a less or a reduced player base from usual. Maybe we'll put a cut in here and just come back when we find a game. Oh, well, there we go. That didn't take long at all, actually, afterwards. Um, let's join. Okay, all ten people have joined in. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up Atomic Poison Ivy. Uh, I find a lot of people tend to go with, like, smashy characters, so usually you're pretty good, and then I'll have a little bit of a tanky one, plus I, I do okay with her. I don't do great, but I do okay with her. So, yeah, we've got two stolen powers here by default, the Psychic Assault, which slows uh, target champion, and X-Ray Vision, which allows us to see through walls. I think I'm going to switch that around for something else. You know what? I'm going to take Super Strength, because it's awesome. Oh. Oh, there's different versions of it, too. All right, well, we'll just take the basic Super Strength. Oh, maybe that's what I was getting confused about. Interesting. Hmm. So yeah, let's let you pick up and throw environmental objects, which is a very, very cool feature. A couple of different skins. We're going to leave it as the default. We're just waiting for the last person on the other team to lock in. Lock in! Oh. Always ready up if you can. There we go. Good. So now it's going to launch in a few seconds. So we've got our default uh, amplifiers here. I can click on this list and pull it up. But yeah, definitely keep the, uh, the defaults on because I don't really have any other amplifiers. So we get increased damage to drones at low health. Improved damping or so reduced attack speed for nearby champions. Really? Hmm. Again, there's bound to be a lot of mistakes and things that I say completely wrong here, just because there's a lot of things I uh, I don't know yet about the game. So we got Gaslight Catwoman, Atomic Wonder Moon, myself, Gaslight Batman, and Arcane Green Lantern. So we've got attack damage, attack damage, I do magic damage, we've got a hybrid and magic damage, good mix there. And the other side is... Uh, relatively mixed as well more magic damage than anything else and there aren't a ton uh, so we got atomic wonder woman there who's an assassin there aren't a ton of uh, champions in the game yet especially that people have necessarily unlocked so might be a little bit of the uh, sameness i don't think i've played against the joker yet he is a blaster strong powers often unleashing bursts of punishment on enemies so i'm thinking he plays more like a mage bit of intro here I think that's pretty cool. So we're uh, we're probably going to go and throw in one point in all three abilities for now. Uh, the Poison Earth is not tremendously strong, though. I really like the wall quite a bit. It seems to do some pretty good damage, and people get caught in it quite a bit. So, you know, I'll probably focus on maxing that out first. And maybe I'll ignore the Q for now. I'll go two points there. I'll put one point in the W for a slow. And then item-wise, it wants me to build this thing's got health. We'll upgrade it for more armor. Yeah, so we'll just generally be tanky. What's the other item? A little bit of damage, a little bit of armor. Okay, sounds good to me. We're going to go out through the south here. So, five points of domination to pick up. So, you take them over by standing it nearby. If you have claimed a node, if, you've got, if you're at a friendly node and you're fighting an enemy, the node will fire at the enemy. Um, but otherwise, like if you're trying to take over a node and there's no enemies nearby, the node itself, the tower, will not attack you. It'll only attack if there's someone nearby. So, there's cars and stuff we can pick up here, which we will do very, very soon. Okay, I'll get that going there now. There's just one person over here. Might be able to take them on. How come I can't pick up... Oh, that's the wrong button. So that's the super strength. It lets you pick up cars and throw them at people. Uh-oh, she's going to do the same thing to me. Now, it's relatively dodgeable. Go, oh, stand in the thorns. That didn't do much damage. Now, I don't have much in the way of damage at this time, partially because I didn't grab the uh, Q, but I guess I can put a point in there now and then wall her up. And I am tough, especially if I can wait the, uh, the amount of time required to regenerate my, uh, what's it called, F toxic growth. Oh, there's some money on the ground. Pick that up. Then uh, not only do I have more hit points that can survive an extra onslaught, but I can empower things by doing more damage. 
which is usually what's going to happen. I'm usually going to be like trying to hit someone at range with the, those abilities and just get off the extra thing. So it also silences the target for one second. I guess it doesn't do very much, but... Oh, 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 oh. Well, I've done a good job of holding things off. Is someone using a teleport here? It looks like. Let's grab the slow. Inflict some damage. Who is this? Oh, Gaslight Batman. He's got a teleportation. Uh, I'm going to put more points into the wall. I like the wall. Nice little swing there by Batman. Let's just punch this back. Grab the gold. Stomp on theirs. And we're going to try to avoid fighting right under their tower. If possible. Oh, I shouldn't have wasted my will there. My mana. I don't think we're going to be able to push in. And we're getting snagged from the back, which is definitely ungood. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and spend my money over here. This is, we've got a bit of a stalemate. So let's just grab whatever we can, and it would be nice if we could catch her. No, I'll never be able to do it. But Batman, come on! I pinged for a reason. You could have gotten a kill. Pfft, world's greatest detective, my ass. Now I gotta not die. Fight under here. There are plenty of heals. It looks like uh, someone just went and got it. There we go. Teamwork. I probably didn't actually need to use my ulti. I don't know what that thing does. Punch the bag? Probably a bad idea. Team has captured Wayne Tower. Just realized the in-game voiceovers are probably a bit too loud. So in the interest of keeping things sane, I am going to turn it down a little bit here. Hopefully people can still hear the cool stuff, but, you know, also hear me. Uh, so she just ultied. We should definitely get out of there until it wears off. Come on, Ruben. Just wait for that to wear off. There we go. This is going to be hard to take, unless we all work together really carefully here. Oh, more more people coming in. Okay, probably shouldn't be working the stalemate. Should try to, like, go around. Now, it'll be really interesting when the middle bit unlocks, because that's a great point of contention. Alright, yeah, I'm just going to try to backdoor some of these other bits. Although, no, hold on. Oh, they don't even need me, though. Ah. Oh, he swung in quite aggressively there. Alright, we should be able to sandwich them in. Kick his butt. Or, maybe we'll just take the control point. That works out fine, too. Alright, we got two grand. Ooh, big push coming in there. Oh... Uh, well, we are the same character, and now she's going to get help. I was really hoping I'd be able to grab that control point, but it was not to be. Slow you down. What can I pick up here? None of those things. Ah! Sorry, buddy. Oops, this is where I want to go. Quick, 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 quick. Oh my god. Just murderized. What the hell? That was amazing. This does damage as well, right? Yeah, we're just going to keep focusing on that. The Q is not going to be the path to victory, I think, with this character. So, we are dramatically behind in score, though, because we've been stalemating while these guys are backdooring. I'm going to go over here and try to defend this control point. Probably will not get there on time. Which is terrible. Well, maybe if she's alone. Nope, she's not alone. Come on, keep the point alive. There we go. There we go. That's what we're looking for. I want to recharge this thing. Oh, there. Excellent. I was hoping I wouldn't have to walk around that way. Drop a car on their head. This is a speed spot. 
Okay, I should not be chasing this. What I should be doing is recapturing the secure or the uh, control point. Especially since they've got some minions coming over there. Okay, it did regenerate itself. Good. Get some extra money. Um, no, let's keep maxing this out. I mean, I like the Q to help farm. But other than that, it does do some damage. So it's a way to kill things. Oh, I've got lots of money too. I'm just going to bypass these guys now. Oh, we fired the orbital cannon. So this bit in the middle, if you go, and it only unlocks every so often. Um, if you go and take it, it counts as an extra node, which means extra damage to the enemy team. Plus drop some cannon blast down uh, in near the enemy zones. And spawn some super minions, these guys over here. Which is very helpful. Do I need health? No, I'm good. Oh, these automatically fire? Even when there's no help nearby? That's interesting. What if I do this? Ah, that turns it off. That's very exciting. However... Oh, God. Okay, let's do that. Slow her down. I'm hoping our note is still being taken. Oh. All right, we took the node, which is great. I'm taking a little bit of damage, which is less great. But we're going to go and pick up the heal and then pick up the car. Bunnied. Oh, and I have no money. Uh, I think, or sorry, I have tons of money. I have no mana. I think I'm just going to pull back at this point. I might lose this node, but I think it makes, oh. Uh, no mana to win that. Oh, well, all right, I'm dead. But we held off as long as we could. And someone just left the match. Oh, that person I was just fighting? That's very frustrating. I think there's going to be a lot of that during the beta, because I don't think people are taking the matchmaking very seriously. There is a way for us to um, to report people after the game, but I don't know if people are super concerned about that right now. So I've completed Metallo's Heart, which gives me a bunch more will, uh, that's mana, and armor against melee and cooldown reduction, and a dampening aura of 25% attack speed for all nearby champions, and it's improved with one of my kits of items, so that's good. Uh, maybe I'll go up to the north, because I'll probably move to this one next. What else do I have? Entropy Aegis, or Aegis, it's not done yet. More health, more will, more power armor. Power damage, power armor. So, I got attack armor and power armor. So yeah, I'm just building full tank, lots of hit points, all that good stuff. Uh, we're going to go and try to maybe get a kill on this fellow. Oh, hello! What? What is this sorcery? Alright, good stuff. Let's do a quick little mini push on this wave. Oh, left some money behind. Grab that. Okay. And then I'll probably bypass these guys here. Do that. Drop some damage down on them. And just go to, to the node. We fired the orbital cannon again. Fantastic. Go team. You know, we started quite a ways behind. Although now they've got, what, one AFK, I think? One of these people left, so that's going to make a difference. But I think we had already turned the game around when she left. I don't know how frequently people are actually pinging the map. I realize there's some chat I'm probably missing there, but... All right. Do, 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 do. So I have a very supporty kind of score right now. <laughs> one, one, five. Five assists. But at least I'm, you know, not dying a whole bunch. So that's good. One of my best games so far was this Doomsday, where I ended up with, uh, I think I went 12 and 4, and it felt so good. And then immediately the next game, I went like 1 and 8. I think it's because I got so cocky, and I was like, oh, Doomsday smashes all. And then I forgot that the reason I was smashing all at the end is because I'd sort of gotten a bit fed. So I went into the next game, and just got my butt kicked. 
Oh, it would be nice if we got there ahead of time. You know what? Let's, uh... Oh, she just TP'd back. Grabbing this as a priority. Let's do that. I mean, it's points, but it also does give you more control. Like, it gives you somewhere friendly to fight. Which is really, really, really nice. Let's try to time, like, leaving that circle just as it pops. Is there a heal there? It doesn't look like it. Let's kill her. Oh, she's still in the game. You get a slow. You get that. You get that. I'm going to drop another slow on your... Like, all I am is, like, non-stop slows. Actually, I may have... Maybe I should have put points into my um, my passive. Okay, well this will give me some armor, so that's something at least. I think I'm just going to get exploded, but I can't leave right now. He's got no hit points, there we go. He was not wrong. Grabbing that node was not wrong. Um, and I think that me keeping her busy so that he could grab the node may have also been perfectly fine. It sucks that I died, but I'm not convinced that anyone made a mistake there. Alright, so... We got Oa Gambit. Oh, reduces power armor for nearby enemies. That's quite sexy. So yeah, I think in a toe-to-toe, -to -toe, I mean, I'm going to last long. It's hard for me to be at kill, but I'm sure as hell not a damage-dealing monster, that's for sure. It's nice when they focus on me, though. This is a bit of a distraction from my other allies. I'm hoping that whoever was here just went back, so I'll just be able to claim that. Meanwhile, the rest of my team is fighting and dying. But hey, why would I help? Oh, I want to pick up the money. Oh, someone just keeps crashing and then maybe comes back. Well, alright. Legit. Guess they're not actually going AFK. That's nice. I had one game. It was actually one of my favorite games where um, one of my people on my team went AFK. Actually, that may have been the game where I, like, kicked ass with Doomsday. I think we lost, despite the score, and because we were, we only had four people on our team. I think that's exactly what happened. Come on. There we go. Uh, oh, big fight in the middle. Now, this takes a long time to power up, but if we keep going in one at a time, no, we, we're going to be fine. I'm going to go in first. Alt. I said go in first, which sort of implied that other people might follow me, but apparently that's not what's going to happen. Ah, uh, well, tried to survive as long as I could, but it's a bit of a cluster F. Um, still doing pretty well though, and we delayed this, which is something while we controlled three of the five other points, so it's it's not terrible. Now, we're going to have to defend a little bit more cautiously here because they are going to spawn some super minions. We're going to have to go and make sure we take care of that. Uh, I think you're just going to die here, buddy. Oh, well, wow. You're quite the assassin. All right, I'm going to go and see if I can recap stuff. Who is this? Ruben, who are you playing? I don't know. Is that a cat woman? Might be a cat woman. Boom. I haven't picked up a car in a while. Should do something about that. I don't know if last hitting matters here. Because I feel like when they die, they drop money. Kind of regardless. There we go. They're focusing on me while I have a damage dealer around, which is great. Let's pick up a car. Throw it at the Joker. Ah, do you think that's funny? Alright. Fighting in the aura is a little bit bad, but there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm probably going to get destroyed here, and I don't see what I can do. Juke through the fog. But my friend is capping things, so that's what matters. Ooh, oh, I should have gone straight for the heal rather than pause to cast a spell. Oh, we didn't cap it. What happened? No. All right. Well, they're below uh, below 100. I think we've got the win. But there's definitely been some sloppy plays, and my score is not revealing very, very good stuff. But look at this. This Ruben guy, or girl, you know, playing. I think that's Catwoman. Uh, got a great score. It looks like Bat Disciple is not doing particularly well on our side at 0 and 6. 
But hey, all that matters is uh is winning. Is there a voice chat built in? I don't know. Ignore. Why can't I ignore Ruben? Not that, not that I want to. I just... I bet you it's voice chat. No? I don't know. I don't know. All right, how are we doing? Um, let's see if we can't steal this node now, because it looks like they're pretty distracted up here and there. So I think we should be able to sneak in and do that. Let's uh, do a little bit of damage. A little bit more. Yeah, I really don't do a lot of damage at all. Oh, 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 oh. I don't want to fight in that radius. There we go. We, with help. Oh, but he's got help as well. Or she. No, don't attack Poison Ivy. What are you doing? Attack. Um, get the speed boost. Come in from the back. Like, focus on her! More slows. You're not gonna, you're not gonna catch them. It looks like there's another big fight in the middle. Alright, I'm going that way. I think we've got the upper hand there, but let's make sure to secure it. I'm coming up from behind, so I'm going to head. Get slowed. Or rooted, actually. Alright. Let's go stand in the middle. Kick control the node a little bit faster. Well, if they want to AoEs from the distance, that's fine. We're still going to grab the thingy. Boom! Cannoned. Get slowed. Get walled. Spam the Q. <laughs> Yay! Alright, well done. So that, well, now they're down to seven. That's it, GG. GG, well played. That was an excellent game. I really enjoyed that. A few people on my side making some strategic mistakes, and my, me personally making gargantuan mistakes nonstop throughout the entire game. As you do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at uh, failing at Infinite Crisis. I, I do expect I'm going to play a little bit more of this. It might be a good uh, good game to play on a uh, live stream. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. You can sign up for it. Uh, just go to the website. You make an account and you can download it and play in this uh, this open beta right now. And oh, I've got enough points to unlock someone new. I should probably do that. I don't know who I'm going to do though yet. So we'll figure that out next time. Bye-bye, folks.